Welcome back everyone. With the Lakers signing Christian Wood, many fans have begun questioning the starting lineup again, as some believe that Wood himself should now be a part of it. And now with reports coincidentally coming out about Anthony Davis preferring to play at power forward, many have taken that and run with the narrative that he wants Christian Wood to start with him. And who knows, maybe it will happen, but I'm not ready to call it anywhere close to being a lock quite yet. In reality, there are a good 3 or 4 starting lineups that you can make a real argument for. It really all comes down to personal preference. However, the thing that sets them apart is how they perform on a game to game basis. And in today's NBA where versatility reigns supreme, your starting lineup needs to be borderline matchup proof, which I'm not sure one with Christian Wood would qualify for. But then again, it does have plenty of the height that many are looking for them to go back to. Call it a quote unquote twin tower lineup if you want to, but the goal for many is simply moving Anthony Davis back to power forward. Although, would that really be the best plan for them? Or would they be setting themselves up for potential problems? We will be talking about exactly that in today's video. We'll be going through what a lineup both with and without Christian Wood would look like, and then talk about what would really be their best option from an all around standpoint. But real quick before we get into it, I would like to invite you to join our NBA Discord. If you enjoy having NBA or Laker or Lay discussion, being updated on NBA news, or chatting with other NBA fans during live games, then I guarantee you would enjoy it. If you want to check it out, there will be a link for it in the video description down below. But without wasting any more time here, let's dive right into it. And we'll begin by talking about a lineup that would include Christian Wood himself. And whether that would include him at center or power forward, it really doesn't matter. Him and Anthony Davis would obviously be the two bigs in this lineup. But the guy that would be taken out for Wood would very likely be Jared Vanderbilt. I mean, you simply could not pair him with all three of LeBron, AD, and Wood in the same lineup in today's NBA. Though, in regard to what they would have here, it's a very interesting combination on offense. Despite including another big with Christian Wood, they are not downgrading their 3 point shooting ability. In fact, they're actually upgrading it. The moment that Wood signed with them, he immediately became one of their best 3 point shooters. And I'm not even talking about their front court here either. He is legitimately one of the best shooters on their entire team. Now, I know that's not really saying that much when you're talking about a bottom 10 team in 3 point percentage, 3 point shots made, and 3 point shots attempted last season, but it's still a very nice thing to have in today's NBA. And especially with both LeBron and Anthony Davis not being very effective from 3 lately. In my opinion, that could be absolutely key to opening up their offense in this kind of lineup. With LeBron and Anthony Davis primarily looking to get to the rim or outright post up near the rim, they need 3 point shooting around them. And not only can Christian Wood provide them with that, but he'll theoretically be drawing a big away from the rim while doing it. Now, their opponent's primary rim protector will likely be defending Anthony Davis, but Wood will still be removing a bigger defender from the play at the very least. And you definitely cannot afford to forget about him either. Whether it's with him hitting the catch and shoot 3, or attacking off the dribble if his defender gets too close to him, Christian Wood can obviously generate his own offense. And I know we're talking about the starting lineup here, but that will become even more valuable with LeBron and Anthony Davis off the court. That will be when Christian Wood can really shine offensively, which you can put towards an argument about him being a better fit to come off their bench. But getting back to their starting lineup here though, it's not all about 3 point shooting or being a decoy along the 3 point line. Christian Wood will be required to move off the ball as well, because if he doesn't, that could lead to their offense becoming stagnant. I mean, we don't want them reverting back to the isolation heavy offense that they had before with Frank Vogel, which he was often forced to turn to because of their too big lineup. A quicker, smaller player will tend to move better off the ball compared to a big, and it's really not that hard to figure out why either, which can often be a problem when trying to create a motion offense with this kind of lineup. That would only be one problem here though, however the main issue with Wood in their starting lineup has nothing to do with their offense, it's all about their defense. Sure, they might be big, but that does not mean they would be upgrading on defense here. In fact, they would be seriously downgrading by swapping Vanderbilt for Wood. I mean, they would be taking out their best swing defender for a guy who really can't match up with any position. He's not an effective rim protector, not a good post defender, and then not quick enough to defend the perimeter, leaving him without any area on defense that he can be used effectively. And although Anthony Davis can help with some of that, he can't help both him while also covering up for LeBron and D'Angelo Russell, neither of which are good defenders at this point. 
And by having Christian Wood in this lineup, that would force LeBron to become their primary wing defender, and I can't imagine that asking a near 39 year old guy to do that would end very well. And even if they would instead turn to Austin Reeves for that duty, that would not go very well either. He's certainly above average defensively, but he's not meant to defend an elite wing player. That duty should fall to a guy like Jared Vanderbilt. Not only that though, but it would significantly reduce their ability to switch on defense. Vanderbilt is a major part of their ability to do that. And without him, they would be asking Anthony Davis to cover up for a lot of mistakes on defense. Overall, adding Christian Wood to their lineup would create an abundance of problems for them on defense, and in my opinion, many more than it would solve for them on offense. With that in mind, I believe they should stick to what they already have. If we take a look at their best lineup combinations post-trade deadline, their starting lineup had the highest plus-minus rating of any lineup that they used. And while they eventually did have to make a change come playoff time, they can worry about that later on if they have to, which will largely rely on Vanderbilt's ability to provide more reliable 3-point shooting, but that won't be a big issue during the regular season. I for one would go with that starting lineup to open up the year. It's a proven lineup option for them, and it really brings out the best for them on defense. And like we've talked about before, that has continually been their pathway to becoming a good team. And if the work that Vanderbilt's been putting in during the summer ends up paying off for him, then he will be a better 3-point shooter for them next season, which would really help transform their offense. However, if they don't go with this lineup, then the other option should be with Rui Hachimura over Christian Wood, which they are reportedly thinking about doing. Again, I for one prefer Vanderbilt over Hachimura, but this would at least be a happy medium, though it definitely would not come without its own issues. The problem would once again fall on their defense here. I mean, Hachimura is definitely a better defender than Christian Wood, but he's still not a very good perimeter defender. I'm not sure why some people fail to notice this, but he's not very mobile laterally, and that would once again create an issue in matching up with elite wing players. They could not rely on Hachimura to defend them, nor could they rely on LeBron or Austin Reeves either, leaving them with a big issue with this lineup. Don't get me wrong here, it obviously could and can work for certain matchups, but I don't like that it would be limiting Rui Hachimura rather than taking advantage of what he does well. I mean, he would be their fourth option at best within this lineup offensively. And although he did prove to be a very effective three-point shooter during the postseason, I don't want him playing into a catch-and-shoot role throughout the whole year, which he would often be relegated to within this lineup. And I really don't get the point of doing that. Sure, being named to this starting lineup might feel good, but I don't think it would actually help Hachimura. I would much rather make him a higher priority by playing him when LeBron goes to the bench, which would therefore give him much more opportunity on offense. But to wrap everything up here though, I don't believe that a quote unquote twin tower lineup should or will be making a return anytime soon. And in my opinion, I don't think the Lakers starting lineup should be changing to begin with. With all of that being said though, what do you guys think? What would be your choice among the three starting lineups that we talked about today? Comment your thoughts down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.